Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and out-of-the-park fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with another game in our 1994 White Sox season. And, oh, by the way, look at what the standings say now. We're a game and a half behind the Royals for the Central Division. Now, in the wild card, we're not in really as good a shape. We're nine and a half behind Detroit, which and I'm, I'm assuming in 1994, I don't really remember, but um, I'm assuming that there's only one wild card and then they play the worst division winner uh, in the playoffs. So we are currently uh, way behind the Tigers. So that what that means is our only chance is going to be to unseat the Royals here, to catch the Royals and take this division. And even with that, we've also got the Indians right on our tails. So it's going to be, this is going to be a real good race right down to the end. And it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see, uh, to say the least. So uh, today, as you can see, we, um, we play the Orioles today. Um, who are 68 and 63, pretty good team. And uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to get into the game. And here are the statistics for the, uh, for both teams. You can take a look at that. We're 70 and 61. We're in second place and we're in second place in the wild card. Second place in our division, second in the wild card. At home, we're 35 and 29. On the road, we are 35 and 32. So, um, anyway, that's just a quick look at the statistics. And then uh, let's see if we can get back into the game. If we can get into the game. And. Uh, you can see the game is already in progress because I had started it at a previous time. And so this that makes for a shorter video. And um, we are losing one nothing currently in the bottom of the third. And the reason that I had to restart the video and restart and get back into the game and everything was because I was not recording. There, I started a recording and at one point I stopped the recording and thought I was still recording. So... We've got this game already in progress. This is Messina uh, dealing to Ozzie Guillen um, as the, with one out in the third. And with us losing one nothing. And I spare you the, uh, whoa, that was, no, oh, a great catch is what that was. So I spared you the first two innings or the first two and a half innings. Um, but, uh, you know, makes it, like I said, it makes for a shorter video anyway. The game, it's like we're saying, we will join this game already in progress. So, um, it's one nothing, and uh, Jason Bure is out there on the mound for us. As you can see, Jason Bure, a 521 earned run average, 8 and 10 record on the year. And he, he's what, and if you missed it, and you did, he walked the bases loaded back in like the second inning, first or second inning, and, um, and that's when the run scored. And now he's just walked the first two guys in this inning. He's having serious control problems. And I spared you seeing all of that. And now he does it again. He walks the bases loaded again. And, I mean, I just can't burn through my bullpen this early, I don't think. But anyway, there's a deep fly. And the guy, another guy is probably going to score on that. So they have a two nothing lead and the guy on second moves to third. That's going to be another. No, that's a base hit. Are you kidding? Uh, Beret is just getting racked here. We really did not need this. And that's going to be a pop up. All right. So there's two down. It's three nothing. We got to see if we can come back from that. 
He walks another guy. This is, dude has walked like eight guys already. And that's going to be a pop-up. And it's 3 nothing. going to the fourth. Or wait a minute. No, going to the bottom of the... Bo- yeah, going to the bottom of the fourth. That was the top of the fourth. You haven't missed a lot. You, I mean, basically, that inning right there was just exactly like the inning you missed. And we're out with the first batter. Which brings up Darren Jackson. And he's out. He strikes out to the Moose, Messina. And Frank Thomas, come on, Thomas, hit a jack out of here and at least make it 3-1. He will not do that. Not even close. So, it's still 3 nothing. I'm going to keep Beret out there. I mean, I got to keep Beret out there, probably. I mean, the bullpen is probably smoked at this point. But we will check. Let's check the uh, bullpen just to see. No, no, we've got some fresh arms out here. The guys that are white, they're fresh. So we do ha- have some uh, some fresh arms out in the bullpen. Um, still, you don't want to burn through those guys. You might need them in another game, and we're already down 3 nothing in the fifth. And there's a strikeout. So Beret, maybe he's found his second wind. And uh, again, my apologies for not for your not seeing the first uh, two and a half innings of the game, but it was uh, it was something you would have wanted to miss. <laughs> so uh, here we go with uh, Robin Ventura is up with one down, nobody on. And he is going to fly out to center field. And uh, we got a little base hit, a little base knock right there. Nice. All right, so we got a man aboard with two down. And Karkovice up, if he can hit a home run, if he can just hit a home run, or even really a double to the gap, I'll take it. Uh, You know what? I'm going to try that. And, yes, it worked. We scored, and Karkovice went to third on it. So um, let's see if we can knock in the second guy. I mean, what the heck, right? But, no, we can't. But we do get a run. It's 3-1 to now. So now I feel like we're clawing our way back. If Bray can just stop walking the world, we might just be okay. And that's going to be a line out to shortstop. One down very quickly. And Devalu is up. And he is going to be on with a base hit between first and second base. Uh, Okay. Macklemore is the batter. This pesky uh, Baltimore team. But that's a double play, and it gets us out of the inning. Beret giving us another good inning. It's 3-1. to one. We're right in this game. Um, Chris Morgan, our center fielder. If you don't know anything about Chris Morgan, neither does anybody else. He is an out-of-the-park generated guy, although he has been fairly decent for us. Uh, Joey Cora is up. And again, I'm, I want to, and I say this every time I do one of these telecasts, I'm just the manager of this 94 White Sox team. So the players that are on the team, I have no control over. I'm not the GM. The computer, the AI is the GM. And the reason for that is I don't like messing with the money. I, I find a trade I want to do, and then invariably it tells me I don't have enough funds to do it. All right, Um, Cora around third, try to score. The ball is very deep. Cora is a fantastic runner. I'm going to say yes, and it works. And now we have a man at third, and it's 3-2, and there's only one out, and Big Frank the Hurt is up. And he might get that. Oh, my God, he made an error. The left fielder bobbled it and made an error, allowing Big Frank to pull in at second and allowing us to tie the game. So this is this is the important part of the game. This is the part of the game you wanted to see anyway. So we've got Julio down by the schoolyard. And he's going to rip a single. But I don't know. Is Frank going to score? No. He's not even going to try it. 
and he didn't. They didn't even give me the option to try it. But there's one out with runners at the corners, and Robin High Ventura, Ventura Highway is up. No, he got picked off. Messina picked him off first base. Unbelievable. And then uh, they're going to be out. So it's a tie game because we got a guy picked off of first base. Unreal. Can I just say that that's unreal? So you got Beret out there, and he is almost tired. So I am going to go and warm somebody up. Going to be McCaskill because it's still kind of early. And we're going to hope Beret can kind of at least get us through this. I mean, I would like to see him get us through this inning. That's a deep fly, maybe a homer. No, it's a deep fly. Good. And uh, that brings to the plate Jeffrey Hammonds. And Jeffrey Hammonds hits a comeback right at Beret, and he makes the play, and there's two down. And uh, Karka Weiss behind the plate, and up at the plate is Palmero. Let's see if he walks Palmero again. I know he walked him once. That might... No. Oh, it's an error. All right. Well, let's go see if McCaskill's ready. Nope. He's still warming up. All right. Now let's see if McCaskill's ready. Come on, man. You got to be ready now. All right. Good. Now he is ready. So I'm bringing McCaskill into the game. And he gets a, he induces a, no, an error at first base. This is, this is ridiculous. So anyway, McCaskill, you can see on the season, 72 and a third innings. He's got a three and two record and a 373 earned run average. We only need one out. Come on, let's just get the out. And we did. He struck the last guy out. All right. So it remains 3-3 despite that touch-and-go inning right there, and we're in the bottom of the seventh with uh, Reigns, Tim Rock, Reigns up. Tim Rock, Reigns flies out. And he's still got Messina out there pitching. And why not? I mean, really part of the reason they got scored, one of the, our scores was on a, an error by the left fielder. And there's a play by the sh by uh, Ripken right behind home plate, and uh, that brings up Ozzie Guillen. And for those of you who missed it, and again, you did miss it, um, when I went over the lineups at the start of the game, they showed that Guillen is um, cold. But as I said at the time, a cold Guillen, who cares? No, really not worse than a regular Guillen. So, McCaskill, let's hope he can at least give us this inning. You can see by his bar right here, he's in pretty good shape. I mean, we're in the eighth inning, and we do have some more guys that are rested. Oh, would you stop making errors? All right, another error at first base by um, Franco. Franco's our first baseman. That is a nice play by Karkovice. That dude was, he had cat-like reactions on that one. And there's two down. And um, and Ripken, the shortstop, is up. Ripken with a beard, which he never had in his life. And we're going to have to, did we get him? No, he's safe. All right, so runners are at the corners with two down. We just need to get Jeffrey Hammonds out. And it looks like we should, and we do. Good. Yeah, don't throw it to first, because uh, you know, Franco is having problems today, defensively. We're in the bottom of the eighth. If we can get a run right here and then just hold him in the ninth, I would be pretty happy with that. And you can see Chris Morgan up the plate, our center fielder again. He's hitting two thirty three on the year with an on base of two ninety five with three home runs. For a made belief for a made up player, that's not too bad. I'll take it. And again, I, you know, I'm not the GM, so I would probably have gone out and gotten another center fielder, especially with us as close as we are. I, in in fact, now that I think about it, he hasn't gone out and gotten us anybody that I can tell. 
our GM, which is kind of odd. But anyway, there's two away quickly and uh, Darren Jackson up. We need we, we could use a real home run right here. And no, he flies out. All right. Um, McCaskill is tiring, so I'm going to get Gossage up in the bullpen. And again, the reason we have Gossage, you're probably saying he was never on the White Sox except at the start of his career, and this is the end of his career. Well, you're right. And the reason that he's on our team, again, at the end of his career, strikeout nice, two down quickly. McCaskill is just burning him up, but let's see if we have – no, he's still warming up. But the reason he's on our team now is because apparently we went out and made a deal and got him. And that's going to be a pop-up. All right, so we're now we're in the bottom of the ninth. If I can – and see, you know, if we get an, an extra um, two and a half innings, then you really saw an, an entire game anyway. Um but we'll see how far this goes. We got Frank Thomas up in a 3-3 game, leading off in the bottom of the ninth inning. And I think he made a pitching change, so we're going to have to go back and check that out. Oh, yeah, he did. And that's a fly out. So let's check there. New pitcher. New pitcher is Mark Icorn, and he has pitched 51 innings this year, a 6-3 and record, and a 229 earned run average. This dude is a tough customer. You got Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is up. And he's going to hit it right up the middle for a base hit. We've got a man aboard. And uh, Robin Ventura Highway. And did he hit it out? No, he didn't. It's going to be a fly. Fly out. Two down man at first. And Tim Rock reigns. Tim Rock reigns right up the middle. You could see that ball was going up the middle. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. We're going to we're going to hold him and uh, Karkovice up, and we're just going to hope for a home run here. <laughs> was he safe? No, he wasn't. All right, so we, you you got some extra baseball, except for you know because of my broadcasting. Um, problems it's not really extra baseball and that is a fly out and i gotta go check on gossage he is tiring and so is mccaskill so let's get gossage out there with one down and gossage induces a fly ball and up steps jonas morales their center fielder i don't I don't know if he started the game. But anyway, we find ourselves in another situation where one run wins us the game. We're in the bottom of the 10th of a 3-3 game. It's been a really good game, and you've seen most of the scoring. You only missed one run by the Orioles uh, because of my um, broadcasting technicality problems. So Ozzie Guillen's going to lead off. Um, not really the best hitter to be leading off. But what happened here? No, he's out. They make that play smoothly. We just need a home run. Chris Morgan, he has three of them on the year, but not really a power guy. But he does get a base hit into the gap. Shopping at the gap is Chris Morgan. So we got a man at second now with only one out. That was his 14th double of the year for Chris Morgan. And uh, we got Joey Cora. Joey Cora is going to get on free. Yes. We are this close. We're this close. All right. So um, up at the plate, you know, they got to be bringing the infield in and the outfield in and everybody in. So um, we got Darren Jackson up. He just has to get it through a drawn in team. And he does, and we win the game. So that's going to be cool. We got to check it out. Wait, no, we won. Don't even, yeah, that's right. Everybody running on the field because we won it. So let's check the um, standings now. Um, let's see. 
Well, we'll we'll leave the well. Let's look at the box score. We can look at the box score, especially since you missed part of the game. Uh, Cora two for five. Jackson two for five. Franco two for four. Reigns two for four. So yeah, we were uh, we were good. You can see Beret here six and two thirds innings, and he walked ten guys. You you know you usually don't survive that. But he managed to, and he threw 135 pitches because that's how I roll. I don't believe in that 100-inning uh, pitch or 100-pitch uh, limit thing. It's stupid. And Gossage, despite the 688 earned run average, pitched two-thirds really good ball, and he ended up getting the win. So we'll leave the game, and we'll check out the standings um, since uh, we did... Um, cut off some of the game at the start, but you did see almost in a complete game. And where are we now? We're a half game. We whittled it down to a half a game. This is going to be a really great race. A half a game here behind the Royals, and then Cleveland only a game behind us. It would be even more exciting if Minnesota wasn't 17 back and Milwaukee wasn't 19 and a half back, but they are. But yeah, you want to definitely follow this team for the rest of the season because we are en fuego. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.